me right now. Because this morning, we come to have some fun and we come to make some noise in this place. Amen, amen, amen. I come to bring a lecture. They got my time. I have five minutes this morning. And I can talk long like last time. So bear with me. And this morning, I'm going to speak on changing your perspective. You have to change your perspective. The Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 16, So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once re regard Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. All this is from God who reconciled us to him through Christ and gave us the ministry of, the re of reconcil reconciliation. Amen. So Amen. what Paul is saying here is that we must change our perspective yes, how we look at it. and how we look at things. Yes. See, is he calling me to speak like Wednesday? And so I didn't have much time to put this together. So yesterday, I was still talking to God and I asked him, what do you mean by change your perspective? Mm -hmm. You see, I was speaking to myself and I say, God, do you mean that when we look at a glass of water, do we look at it half full or half empty? That's it. So I started to think more and God was like, no. I'm telling you change your perspective because once, like Adam and Eve, before they sinned and they ate the apple in the garden, they was on one accord with God. See, and when they ate the apple, they became in the flesh, in the world. So they changed their perspective. They were no longer walking with God. Their perspective changed. So God is telling us now we need to change our perspective as a people and come back on track with Him. See, when before Adam and Apple eat, eat, before Adam and Eve ate the apple, they was on one accord with God. So if all of us is lined up right here, and we are looking straight ahead, all of us are looking at the same thing. See, God wants us to be on the same accord with Him, and all of us have to be looking at the same thing. We got to walk with Christ on this thing. We can't be walking over here when God wants us to walk over here. See, when you change your perspective, you start to look at things different. Let's take, for example, um, Saul, before he was he, before he was converted to Paul. See, on the road to Damascus, he was one of the biggest sinners we know in this place. And before he changed his perspective, he was on the road to Damascus riding a horse, and then a bright light came, and he was knocked off the horse. And when he woke back up, his whole perspective was changed. See, God is asking us to change our perspective. See, in this in this time, in this season, 2020, this is a year of expectance. So you have to change the way you think. You have to change your mindset. So all God is telling us in this season, please change your perspective. Look at things in a different manner so you can be on one accord with Him. Amen.